Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday and welcome to a brand new week of Fantasy Foot. That's the promo that we're in right now at the moment. But today, we're going to start off the video not just talking about Fantasy Foot. Today is a big day for other reasons. There are new Icon Swap tokens that are going to be available today. Finally, after I don't even know how many weeks it has been, the first set of icon swap objectives is going away and the second set is here. So we'll talk about that, how it's going to impact the market a little bit. I know a lot of people maybe want to claim like Cafu, Brazilian right back. A lot of people are going for those fodder packs, but also any, any icon swap reward that is 10 plus tokens is going to be able to be claimed here in the next couple of days, starting as early as today. So we'll talk about what this means for the market and for the game. And for a lot of you guys that love to grind objectives, this is a very, very welcome sight on this game as a part of Fantasy Foot, which seems to have just a little bit lackluster content. Not super crazy, not insane by any means at all. It really seems like a good week to be grinding icon swaps. You, you really aren't missing out on too much if you're going to put your focus on this. So we'll take a look at that. Again, Fantasy Foot is the promo that's going on right now. Um, we'll take a look at the SBCs that we actually have some huge leaks um, for Team 2 players. Um, one by the name of Usman Dembele. So we'll take a look at that, see if that's more of like a team two, not an SBC leak, but then uh, a couple SBC leaks for maybe cards coming today or later on this week, as is also Upgrade Pack Monday. And we already have a leak for that as well, but it's not a good one. So we're going to talk about all of that today and as well dive into the market side of things a little bit as well because some of these fantasy foot players have dropped off in value as we did talk about last night uh you know i, I see nani right now on the market at like under 470,000 coins which is i think or under 480k he's in the 470 range which is kind of the lowest that he has been but again all these cards for fantasy foots uh, items just seem to be so overpriced and especially with the new ones that dropped yesterday as well i can't believe you're looking at this Lucas Mora card on the market and seeing him uh, at like 1.1 million coins. I mean, like what? This this literally makes no sense to me how this card is so expensive on the market. But that's just the theme with this promo. It really is. So we'll talk about all of that today and more in the video. If you're excited for brand new icon swaps, make sure to hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. We're going to start the video today talking about that stuff. Indeed, the icon swaps because icon swaps... Everybody loves these because they can do a few games, get some objectives done at their own leisure. Because the, of course, the icon swap set one, the first nine tokens, right? We had nine tokens. These objectives are going away today. Then we're going to have nine brand new ones that will come out today. And that's just going to be more objectives and more tokens for people to grind. As of course, we usually see with icon swaps being out, it's such a popular part of FIFA as an objective mode that you do see the market usually not really drop, but just become more stagnant. We're already in a period on the market that is very stagnant. So we'll, we'll again, conversate on how that might look this week. But again, to focus on the icon swaps, part of this nine new objectives coming out today, I don't think we have any leaks as of right now when I'm recording this about what the objectives would be. But of course, you're going to see some movement probably on some silver cards, just like we almost always do, because people try to combine the friendly objectives with like silvers, a league, a nation, try to get a few of those together. So maybe do a club stock on some silvers. If they're not that expensive, maybe t look at some of your top nine nations uh, in a couple of your off leagues. Like maybe, the, I, don't th I don't think they've done MLS, but you know, stuff like that, right? Some of you guys that are into that a little bit more know what they rotate through with some of these objectives and what they ask for. Uh, but just make sure your silver clubs are ready because you might be helpful. It might be helpful to have some silvers in the club. Um, and if they're not too expensive, just go stock them all from the top nine nations really quick. Uh, because a lot of those could go up today depending on what they require from those objectives. But the big part about icon swaps being today is there's going to be people able to, uh, again, take the rewards from swaps that are 10 tokens and above. Since we've had 10 to or 9 tokens released so far, people are going to be getting to all the way to the end. There's going to be people probably today on Monday or maybe by tomorrow on Tuesday, they're going to be able to claim the 92 Prime or Moments pack, which is the first pack available in any sort of fashion on this game this year, FIFA 22, that gives out Moments icons, and it's a 92 plus. So people are going to be going after that, of course, today. I also think a lot of people are going to be going after Cafu. I know that it's 11 swap tokens, so people have been saying, hey, I could go do some of the fodder packs. Like I, when I do icon swaps, I only go for the fodder packs and I stop there. I really don't like grinding objectives a whole lot. 
That's just my way that I like to play FIFA, but I know a lot of you guys like grinding objectives. Um, and today it's, it's going to be, again, people are going to be starting that path to claiming these higher tier rewards that cost more swap tokens. So just looking at this, I know a lot of people are looking at this Cafu as 11 swap tokens as an option to put in their team as an end game right back. And, you know, I just thought of this as I was starting to record this video. I really wonder how that's going to affect Danny Alves's price a little bit. He's, he's still right around 600,000 coins. But I wonder if people getting out there and claiming this Cafu is going to affect his price on the market. I don't think it would affect it a crazy amount. Like, I don't think this Danny Alves is going to go down to 500k tomorrow because people are going to be able to claim Cafu after grinding some squad battles and some friendlies. Uh, but you know, maybe, maybe Danny Alves drops down like 20 or 30 K over the course of this week. Maybe, uh, just because of the fact that that Cafu is out. Now, also, like I mentioned, we have a pretty big leak for a fantasy foot player by the name of Usman Dembele, who would be a right mid, which would be a green link to Danny Alves, which could also counteract that. So I don't really think that the icon swaps last time, we got the first set of nine tokens for icon swaps. It didn't really impact the market that much. Like I know that I was talking about, Hey, some people are going to sell their teams to go and, and get involved with icon swaps. I think people at this stage of the game run so many untradeable players in their team that it really didn't equate to that much of a sell-off. What it really did do though, is it made the market pretty stagnant for that first week. When those swap tokens came out, the first set of nine, that's probably gonna happen again this week. The market's already stagnant though, right? As it has been, not a lot of fluctuation. The new cards are so expensive. So this is kind of a welcome sight for the game today, in my opinion, as a lot of people are gonna be going out and doing this. It's also nice if you're waiting on the last, like myself, the 82 times 25, which you kind of look at this and you're like, man, do I want to open an 82 times 25 in this promo where yes, they did just release a, a mini release and there's man of the match cards in packs. So for a fodder perspective, there is a decent amount of higher rated cards in packs, but a lot of people I think are going to open these just because there's SBCs that they want to grind right now, specifically the Mbappe player of the month, uh, SBC that like everybody is trying to work and chip in, chip towards, get it done. I'm three out of 11. I'm trying to do this myself. So I think those fodder packs are going to be a place of demand as well. So icon swaps is going to be a welcome sight for the game today. Uh, in my opinion, a lot of people are going to be going out. And again, like I said, it's really not a bad time because this promo is not that insane. Yesterday, we had more overpriced fantasy foot cards dropped on the market. Of course, we looked at the Lucas Mora being so so expensive uh on the market like literally 1.2 million coins for lucas mora's card i'm sure he's really rare i haven't looked at this card's price really that much he was extinct at 1.7 for a couple hours which that was really atrocious being honest but i mean we have a Jaden sancho foot birthday card that is five star five star with better stats just less pace um, and a little bit less shooting than this lucas mora card but basically better stats all the way around in my opinion with the five star five star that puts him above this Lucas Mora. And this card is still like 300,000 coins more. It's crazy. So Jaden Sancho's price did not get affected yesterday, like at all on the market. He actually went up because this Lucas Mora was so expensive. But Mora was released yesterday. Balde was released. This card, this card kind of interests me a little bit because this is a nice Serie A striker, especially with a little bit of Serie A hype going on right now. Uh, this guy was down to like 80K flat. I think he's maybe back up a little bit. Uh, I guess he's he's still right there, like that 83 to 84K range. But I think there's some hype with this card. I don't know if he plays a lot uh, for his, his squad of Cagliari, but four-star, four-star, cheap, serious striker, potential to upgrade. Pretty nice looking item. Finesse shot trade as well. All right, that's pretty dope. So I think there's going to be some people interested in this one. And then, of course, we had the core uh, center defensive mid in the Bundesliga that was released yesterday. So maybe people will go out and open their times 25 packs because we do have those man of the matches in packs as well, like the Benzema, the Oblak, some higher rated items. Uh, now that I think about it, you know, I, it might not be the worst week ever to open some of those packs just because you do have man of the matches and promo cards out and a Ronaldo in team of the week. So there's probably going to be people opening their times 25 packs this week, uh, getting them from icon swaps as well. Now, let's talk about more of today's content on Monday. We actually have a couple leaks related to that. I think this is just me speaking here. Since this Antonio has official stats that have been added, we talked about it in yesterday's video. Um, Mr. Antonio, these are going to be his official stats. 93 physical, 93 pace. Um, I think this might be today on Monday or tomorrow on Tuesday. That's just my opinion. But 
Uh, this could be a pretty dope card if it's cheap, right? We've had all of the SBCs so far for player SBCs, which has only been Cagliari and, uh, of course, the Tonali. But, but we're two for two on good value. So hopefully this Antonio comes in at like 150K or less. I feel like it's going to be like 250, though. Premier League tax, Antonio, a nation change as well. I think Antonio had a special card earlier this year. That was a, It was an objective, right? Uh, it was the Mikel Antonio, wasn't it, a Rule Breakers? Yeah, and I think at first they released him with the uh, the English nationality, then they fixed it. But um, th that's one of the really common complaints I've been seeing from a lot of people right now as, w as, as well, is that they're re-releasing all of these cards that already have promo items in the game. But here's here's what it comes down to for me, and I actually saw Criminal uh, Sahil on, on Twitter tweet out this graphic yesterday because you have Dembele. That, this is the leaked card, by the way, for Usman Dembele coming as a part of probably Team 2. I would, I would not expect that to be an SBC. That's way too good of a card for an SBC. I'd be shocked if they did. I think that's a card that's going to be in packs uh, with Team 2 of Fantasy Foot. But you see Rashford, Lucas Mora, Gelson Martins, Klosterman, Antonio, and Dembele already have special cards in this game. So some people are like, man, EA, just give us different players and new players, which I totally understand that argument. And I think that this one right here is kind of cool. Uh, the Vertonghen, right? Vertonghen is, of course, leaked to be... I think he's probably going to be in Team 2. I'd be fine if he was an SBC. That, that's a cool card, right? Make that SBC cheap. Former Spurs player for me. I love it, right? Um, you know, Benfica. There's very there's very nice Liga Portugal squads you can make this year with the special cards they've gotten. They've gotten a lot of love this year in FIFA, so I'm a fan of this one. Um, but that's a lot of people's complaint right now, right? That all, all of these dudes that have gotten promo cards before are getting them again. Well, here, here's the way that EA does it, and this is why EA is doing it, right? Because they sell packs, right? Dembele is going to sell packs. And again, you look at the guys they put in packs here, Rashford, Lucas Mora, Pacey, Premier League. Uh, they, they needed a player from Tottenham Hotspur to be in the promo for like a live item, right? There was no Tottenham player. Uh, Klosterman, one, probably the most meta thought about besides Lacroix this year, center back in the Bundesliga. Gelson Martins, five-star skiller, league un. Everybody loves Gelson Martins, right? Because he's meta in FIFA. Rashford, same difference, right? That's why they're putting these cards in these promos because they sell packs. They get people to go out and, and do the SBCs and interact with the items because they're popular cards, right? So I also understand the shouts of, hey, there's really players that are given special cards that aren't that, you know, um, that don't have any special cards throughout, like Nani, right? Nani is an example of a card that didn't have any specials this year. That was really cool that he got a special. Same thing with Kamavinga. Kaldi Aguri is the same argument as well. But again, it, it just comes down to EA needs to sell packs. That's that's why. And engagement, right? That's why they're putting some of these same players in. I don't have a problem with Usman getting a card because look at the upgrade, right? Think about how much the power curve has increased since he got this 86 rated uh, Rule Breakers card back in November, right? Same thing with Klosterman and same thing with Antonio. So I really don't have a problem with this, but I know some people do. Uh, and that's why I wanted to cover that just a little bit in the video for today. So in doing all that, I think we talked about all the leaks with Usman, um, with the Vertonghen, and of course the Mikel Antonio. But back on track for today's content on Monday, we have an upgrade pack today since it's always upgrade pack Mondays is when they usually release those types of SBCs. And we've had the player picks lately, the 80 plus two weeks ago. And then last week we had the 81 plus, but only two players from it. Now, Foot Sheriff is saying that we have an 82 plus upgrade pack coming tomorrow. Now, that's a pack, not a player pick. Don't get excited, right? Again, you see him hit, say here, he says it is a pack. We've seen the 82 plus pack before. I really hope that this is just a random one time upgrade that they're going to do. Uh, maybe it's like one of the rewards from the daily SBC, right? Yesterday, they released a daily SBC for a two player pack. Uh, this one, Dream Team, complete this fantasy foot challenge to earn a two player pack. What, EA Sports? A two player pack? After you release two, a mega pack the day before? Nah, man. So hopefully that 82 plus is just a very poor reward for one of these daily SBCs and we still get a player pick or at least like the 82 to 88. Because again, as I mentioned, I know some of you guys are really trying to grind the Mbappe player of the month. And if they're putting out an upgrade pack SBC that is not grindable value wise, the 82 plus upgrade is almost always terrible because it's a pack, not a player pick. They require like an 80 rated squad for it. So it costs like 7K to do because um, sometimes you're throwing in some 81s or 82s into it. So it might not even be 7K this time unless they make it super duper cheap 
and repeatable. Uh, I just think that 82 plus upgrade pack is, is going to end up being an L. So hopefully we get like an 82 to 88 or maybe still like an 80 plus player pick as a part of the upgrade SBCs today. That would be nice because I know a lot of us are still trying to grind on this Mbappe or the Tonali or maybe the uh, player of the months that are out right here. There's a lot of SBCs that are out right now. Maybe the year interview player pick, which again, them dropping this yesterday. It was cool the first two times, but now it's just, it's not really, because again, as you see here, a lot of people were complaining about this, but still so many people did it uh, because you saw the lower tier on fodder move up, which we did talk about yesterday. So if you did get in on any of that stuff, GG's, it kind of went up before we would have anticipated. Uh, but this is just, it's just not giving out cards that are relevant to the curve. But again, people go out and do it because Oh my goodness, I could pack Cristiano Ronaldo, player of the month. I could pack XYZ player that are still decently usable at this stage of the game. But really, a lot of the cards you see popping up out of this are not that good. So I just think that for today's content on Monday, it might just be the icon swaps, maybe an, a player pick. Hopefully, they do some better upgrade packs or a player pick. Um, and then maybe that Mikel Antonio SBC would be dope. Other than that, it doesn't seem like this promo is going to be something super duper insane unless EA have something crazy put up their sleeve like preview packs or something like that. Now, let's talk about market. And we'll start with fodder because we just talked about that year in review player pick uh, that they dropped again. Now, that's out for like the whole rest of this week. And of course, with that being out, and I think it's like an 85 rated squad. Let me double check this just to make sure. I, I didn't even, I don't even do this SBC, right? L look at the upgrade, the upvote and downvote percentages, right? Um, Completed challenges. This is an 85 rated squad with one inform, 81% downvote, 19% upvote. But still, you have SBC fodder. Let's take a look at the index 86 and the index 85. Look at this from yesterday. Look at this spike, right? The index 86 is up. And if we go to the 85, I bet, of course, since I saw these cards go up like 2K a card, 3K a card, this one had a really nice bounce on it as well from 203 on the index up to 2. 67 on the index just a lot of people were out doing sbcs and specifically that sbc so that's why you saw 84s not really too much on the 84s but a little bit but 85s and 86s went up the most and you still have your higher tier like your 88s to 92s are still up in value because of player of the month mbappe but then you had that lower tier getting bumped up a little bit because that year in review player pick. Of course, that was part of the content yesterday. And then we did see some nice drop offs with the fantasy foot players. Now, just one last word on fodder. We're not going to have a lot more supply. We have weekend league rewards today, which we'll talk about in a second for the meta side of the market and maybe seeing a bit of a market rise there. But um, unless EA runs some crazy lightning rounds, I, I don't think that this these cards are not going to go anywhere, but probably upwards just a little bit in price um, as people are opening 82 times 25s, 83 times 25s from getting swap tokens, still trying to craft Mbappe, still trying to craft other SBCs. I think an Antonio SBC today would be another one that... Uh, decent amount of people with Premier League teams would want to go out and do. So you you could see fodder rising up a little bit into the later parts of this week. Usually it's been like Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, before content on Wednesday have been kind of the peak times for fodder, especially if they release like a gamble pack on a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. That's kind of been like the weekly trend. And then Thursday, especially it starts to drop off again as people fear the upgrade packs. And the last few promos we've had midweek lightning rounds on Wednesdays and Thursdays of both weeks of foot birthday. And they're running all the crazy lightning rounds right now inside of fantasy foot too. So probably going to see that again this week. So if you did buy some fodder on the weekend, I'd be looking for like a Tuesday exit time, uh, unless EA do something crazy that we're not expecting. Of course, we always had that caveat thrown in there, but same thing with these cards, right? And, and we, as we talk about rewards and we talk about these prices on the market tonight, some of these guys are down. As you can see, Gelson Martins, um, I didn't buy any of these last night on Saturday night. I was thinking about it, but I went with Nani. This card was the better buy though. He went from 450,000 coins up to 500K. Now is back down in the 460 to 470 range. These cards, even though they're incredibly overpriced, again, we just made the same mention of like Lucas Mora compared to the Sancho card being so much more expensive for not really that much better of a card. Doesn't have the five-star skills or the five-star weak foot. Um, I, I think these cards still might go up a little bit today. I mean, it's crazy to say it, but I don't think St. Maximin is going to crash like three and a half million coins today after weekend league rewards, right? I know there's some supply coming on the market, but really what I would expect to see is 
some of these cards actually bounce back a little bit. Now, I don't know how long that bounce back is going to last, but people want to try these brand new items. So I do think you'll see a few of them rise up in price today. Um, the Rusillion is one that I bought one of these last night at 125. Just one of them. I could have bought a few more and I should have. He went back up to like 140, right? This guy moves a bunch on the market. He's still 135 uh, at the moment, but just keep an eye on these cards today after rewards. I think they will go up a little bit as people want to buy them as they get coins from the rewards. And again, the rest of the market as well, you'll probably see some upticks in price. Um, if you haven't, if you see any cards that are low right now out of packs, I think it'll be an opportunity to trade with some of them. Last night on the video, I bought some uh, some headliner Kula Bali. Kula Daddy, as he is known as, right? I bought some at like 325 or 330, and I sold them at 365, uh, and that was kind of where his price was like all day yesterday. He spiked once, but he never really got that low again, right? I bought him like right here, and he went up like all day again. That's what I'd be looking for if you're watching this video before rewards, is I would try to take a look at the market and find some out-of-pack specials that are just that are just low. Just giving you a little bit of a heads up, the out of packs cards are 100% where I'm going to be trading this week, right? Maybe trade with some icon moments. I've been doing a lot of those, but I'm going to be trading with the out of pack stuff this week, 100%, because it's it's just where there's there's no supply, but there's still demand, right? And as you see, people like this spin out went to 150 last night, then he peaked at 165. Right now, he's 165 again. So I'm going to go and check this card out because again, Tonali. Some people might get Tonali done with rewards. Um, and you know, as we have a, an Antonio coming out this week, you might want to watch on some Premier League cards. There's not a ton of West Ham specials that you could really trade with uh, to link him together. But you know, maybe you see some other Premier League cards, like some right wings, left wings that are softer links. Really, like you know, Leon Bailey wants to watch would be a green link, but that's not really a meta card for this stage of the game because uh, they're both Jamaican. But um, you know, that's the kind of stuff that I would look look out for this week because the market continually is being devalued as there's so many people focused on that Mbappe SBC doing the year interview player pick, but you have a less risk of losing coins because of that devaluation if you're looking at cards that are out of packs, because again, there's no supply for them. So that's just kind of, we're going to talk about that a lot this week on the market because um, that's just kind of the way of the game right now. And that's where you, if you're going to make some coins, that's it's kind of, it's going to be a little bit of a grind because you're not going to see tons of market rises and they're not running the late night lightning rounds tonight on Sunday heading into Monday, which is interesting. So I'm going to watch that Chiesa. I'm going to check the market here in a little bit and look for some more out of pack special cards. And maybe we'll see some of these fantasy foot items rise a little bit into today. But honestly, uh, not a ton of the prices that I've seen tonight really do I like that much. Uh, I was hoping for some late night lightning rounds to maybe drop them a little bit lower, but I really don't like a ton of the price that I'm seeing unless I get some undercuts on some of these cards. Um, you know, Van de Beek moves around a little bit. Dutch links in the prem, kind of looking at a card like that. I, I'm going to have to see Klosterman as well, you know, with the Neuer that is that was out last week. I was hoping to see more of a fluctuation on him. He's 384. I was hoping to see like 360. So I, I'm just going to be careful with it, honestly. Out of packs is going to be the safest way to go this week, but I do think you could have an opportunity to see those. If they don't just rise today, um, you know, trading with them throughout the week is probably going to be the play. So that's the video for today, boys. Again, the big piece of content today is the icon swaps that are going to be released, the objectives to grind those uh, and to work your way up, I guess, towards the whatever icon swap reward that you are going to be going for. I'm going to get my 82 times 25, open it, hopefully pack Lucas uh, and then some fodder for the rest of this promo and, and be happy with crafting my player of the month Mbappe, which will be going into the squad pretty soon. So let me know what you guys are excited about this week. I know it doesn't seem like that insane of a promo, but there's still a lot to do, right? The objectives, the SBCs, there's still a decent amount to do. Hopefully EA give us some grindable upgrade packs other than the 82 plus. That's going to be my biggest hope for today on Monday. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate to put account and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.